Welcome to an introduction to CSI CrossCAD Part 1. CSI CrossCAD is a new product that is a plugin for AutoCAD and BricsCAD that facilitates the design of building structures analyzed in eTabs or SAP 2000. It keeps tracks of design revisions and eliminating the need for manual data transfers and markups. Initial drawings generated by CSI CrossCAD can be customized and refined, and changes to structural members in the BIM model are reflected in the drawings. Drawings include floor plans, elevations, beam column schedules, beam reinforcement elevations, and wall reinforcement plans and elevations. In this video, I will show you how to import a model from eTabs into AutoCAD using CSI CrossCAD to generate floor plans, elevations, and 3D models. So let's get started. I'm going to open up AutoCAD, and in the CSI CrossCAD menu, I will click on Project, New Project, from eTabs. I will select my eTabs model. And I'm going to import this eTabs model using eTabs version 18.1.1. So it's important to note that the analysis and design must be completed prior to import. So in this case, the concrete frame design, composite beam design, and shear wall design have already been run. On the right hand side, you can see all the elements that were identified in the eTabs model. I have the ability to deselect them if I'd like to. You can see there are concrete frame objects, uh, slab edges, wall reinforcement. You have the ability to change your plans scale with this pull down menu, as well as add prefixes to any drawing names. If we take a look at some of the tabs up here, under adjustments, I have the options to change the eTabs origin or change any units as well as reaction units. I can also select the wall reinforcement plans. If some of them are similar, I can deselect some of them as well. And the same can be done for beam reinforcement elevations. Okay, it takes a few minutes for all of the drawings to be generated. Here on the left side of the screen are all the drawings that were generated. They include 3D models, floor plans, elevations, wall reinforcement plans, as well as beam reinforcement elevations. And you can see all of the sheets are located at the bottom of the list. As you can see, there are many tools available in the menu, including options to update the grids, uh, changing of the drawings, adding members, whether it be beams or columns or braces, editing members, which includes changing design and end conditions, edit the labeling, change some of the schedule options, and there are some project settings as well. In the next video, Introduction to CSI CrossCAD Part 2, I will go over each drawing in detail, demonstrating many editing features and automatic updating of drawings.